Animal Crossing New Horizons is the perfect getaway from this horrible timeline we've somehow found ourselves in. In New Horizons, you'll be busy building a town from the ground up by collecting resources, harvesting fruits and trees, fishing, and decorating your house. While Tom Nook will handle all of the day-to-day -day operations, with some help from Timmy and Tommy, you might need a little help. Even though you might be excited to fast forward to your own adorable metropolis, this game starts out painfully slow. Consider this your very own beginner's guide to staying sane during those quiet opening moments. For more in-depth advice, you can check out our tips on the site too. Here are 5 helpful starter tips for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Things take time to get going in New Horizons. As elaborate as my owned island of Guapalapagos is now, it wasn't built in a day. Progression happens in real time, so you'll have plenty of opportunity to get to know your island while you wait for buildings and homes to be constructed. Shortly after you land, you'll be given the recipes for some basic tools to get the ball rolling. Start up a routine of daily activities and build up a nice rhythm. Fish and catch bugs to sell, and gather wood and tree branches for tools. You can sell all of these things, but it's a better idea to keep materials like wood, branches, rocks, and clay for crafting and building your house later on. That will help alleviate the lack of available storage in the first couple of days. This might seem uncomfortable at first, but just lay it all out there. Any fish or bugs you catch can just chill in little fish tanks or plastic bug containers while you wander the island and rip out your island's own natural resources like the adorable settlers you are. Over time, your tent will start to feel like a sad garage sale, but keep at it. If you get duplicates of a certain creature, keep one and sell the others. The one you keep can be donated to Blathers, someone who will eventually pop up on your island and start a museum and accepts donations of bugs, fish, and fossils. You don't have to let a full inventory bring your progress to a halt. Whenever you feel stuck or aimless, don't bother asking Tom Nook for help. Just use your handy Nook phone. Open the Nook Miles app to see what you could be focusing on to score some Nook Miles. You'll naturally get Nook Miles for a lot of the activities you'll be doing anyway, but if you're bored or need a nudge, the app can help by giving you new objectives. Whenever you unlock Nook Miles, you'll get a little notification and badge on the app icon because even if we fly thousands of miles to a remote island, the notifications will follow us. Follow us. When you do open the app, you can use the right thumbstick to zoom right to the challenges you've completed so you're not scrolling through each time. And don't be too precious with those Nook Miles either. Checking in every day at the Nook Stop inside of the Resident Services tent will get you some bonus Nook Miles that increase the more you check in too. Spend your Nook Miles on whatever the heck you want, but try prioritizing Nook Miles tickets since your island will eventually run out of things to collect after a period of time. Using those Nook Miles tickets lets you take a trip to a random island nearby. Head on over to a Nook Stop, grab yourself a ticket, and talk to Orville at the airport for a round trip flight to a random island you can explore. This is helpful because your island yields a limited amount of materials you can gather every day. The nearby islands can be pillaged and stripped of their natural resources in the cutest and friendliest way. It's Animal Crossing, just don't think about it too much. After you've wrestled with that uncomfortable feeling deep inside, wander around these tiny islands to gather fruit that might not be native to your island and fill up your inventory as best as you can. Don't forget to dig up a few fruit trees or flowers to place back on your own island so you can continue harvesting them back home after a while. Now living on an island away from the real world doesn't mean you can't reconnect with real life friends. Animal Crossing New Horizons gives you the option to play cooperatively with friends. You can do that by either playing on the same screen using the same Switch, via local connection between multiple Switch consoles, or by connecting online. This gives you a good opportunity to collect the resources together, work on projects, or snap tons of photos. Reactions Animal Crossing's take on emotes are perfect for all the photo ops you'll discover. You can also have digital housewarming get-togethers to show off your fancy new decor or your town's museum. Some friends might be further along than you are and can give you resources or items that you might want. If you don't feel like talking via Discord or if you must the Nintendo app, 
You can use the Switch's touchscreen to tap away and type out some messages to your friends in-game. Linking up with friends is a great way to move things along during the game's slow start. Eventually, things will pick up speed and you'll have plenty of time to grind away and pay back loans, build extensions to your home, and help construct buildings and bridges around town. But for now, these tips should help get you on the path to building your perfect custom-made towns. Hope you're packed and ready to start your new life on your islands out there. Best of luck and have a good flight.